Are people oh, ready to... Are you back with food and such, Chris? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, where we left off last week... You all, um... My brain completely deleted last session, and my brain all of a sudden. However, um, you all dealt with the Philosorok. You found some food for people. Ari and Crozy could have had a moment, but instead they didn't. Um, Glee got a message from his mom saying to meet him at the Wandering Emporium to, you know, spend time with his mom. For some reason, people didn't seem to think that was a good idea. And you all saw the location of what you might assume to be Fort Knucklebone. Uh, you all made some plans to run down a chain into Avernus, and I believe that is where we kind of left off. Oh, you got a bunch of food for the people as well. I think we kept, what, five days worth of rations for everybody, save for me? Ten days. Is it ten days? Ten days. I think it was ten days, but... Yeah, we have rations. 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 <sighs> yeah, everybody should have ten days worth of food. We also need to figure out what to do in case we run out of food. But that's problems for future us. There's plenty of stuff to eat. Of course, of course, of course. Like Demon Toad. <clears throat> I hope we meet an Abyssal Chicken. We don't want to meet an Abyssal Chicken. I'm applying Abyssal Chicken to every encounter moving forward. No. There'll be one single abyssal chicken no matter what. <laughs> yeah, there's this, there's this, there's this, and your obligatory chicken. It's like the rare mob in an RPG, you know? You gotta Crazy kill it before Daisy. it runs away. It's actually just one abyssal chicken that is just very fast. Hilarious. Huh? Cupcake, please. There's people outside. Or closed. We Dang. also met Vrocrates. Yeah. I hated him. He's That's amazing. He, he, he was a swell fella. I can't believe you don't like the NPC I put so much effort into. He was extremely lucky that Karuzi couldn't understand him. Yeah, again, too. For nice. Yeah. Yay. I I don't know why y'all would take issue with him. He wanted peace. <laughs> I, I loved him. A friend that day. I loved him. He was him, just okay? extremely obnoxious. It's fine. Do you just go around killing anyone you find obnoxious? Kind of. They're demons, kind of. Yeah. And Karuzi doesn't even have that caveat. <laughs> oh. Is my life in danger? She clearly doesn't find you that annoying. Yay! That's I'm a compliment. Too, I'm too nice! Nice can be annoying. True. Nah. It'll be uh, fine. Mice can be on it. Nah. Mice is great. Holy crap, bio and info are on, is on the second tab instead of the first. I'm I'm Wait, very what? confused. I'm I'm That's been I, that way for a minute. I'm what I'm very confused about? right now. On the second? Oh yeah, yeah. It's been like that forever, so you don't have to like change the bio and info every single time you open your cheat. It's been like that for like opposed... a solid month. I'm not opposed to it, but it does throw me off. Yeah. 
I didn't realize the first time I opened my sheet that it was like that, and then the second time I was like, wait, what the fuck? Oh, they changed it. That's actually a nice change. I didn't yeah. notice till you said it, but I didn't care. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the first one for a while. Wasn't it was. It? Because you would it, have to it, switch uh, over. Things are changing, and I don't like it. Yeah, it was like an automatic movement to click oh, next to Oh, my money is finally pitch. fixed. It doesn't look like a demon abyss anymore. Yay. Yeah, nobody else is having that happen, so that's weird. It was weird. That one session, it was just like, your money's black. I'm like, okay. Your money black is money. redacted. Yep. I only have five gold anyway, so. Give all money. right. Yeah. All right, oh. but yeah, you all were planning an endeavor to get down the things. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta find Flint. <laughs> Good luck. I believe um, you all took a long rest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Has everybody being... leveled? I have. Yeah, did everyone finish their level up? I'm just trying to figure out another spell to take. That's it. Shit, I'm sorry, I forgot to get back to you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you messaged him a week ago. Oh no. I. I am meshing my my other. I got distracted. <laughs> hmm. What spell did you take? The, he hasn't the, the first. I haven't taken one yet. He I'm not sure if I want to take a fourth level spell or continue taking like third or second or four, first spells because I don't. Know. I don't know. You really want an AOE <laughs> spell? Um. I I I I will take suggestions. Shatter. Shatter. Shatter's a good one. Flint had it. Shatter. Yeah, clap of his ass cheeks. Fine. Yep. He will never be nothing more than his ass. That's not true. He's, he's also. But it rich. was fun. He was also glitter boy. He was him for his cool glitter. He was channel. also rich. Was he? Yes, he had so much jewelry. Okay. There's only one way. There's only one way he could have. Yeah, gotten only it. one way mm -hmm. that he could have gotten that much jewelry. Only one. If if he was if he was Jingly. rich. Yep. Flint gave me some uh, of his jewels. Summon lesser demons. <laughs> Summon greater demons. I was gonna say why why do lesser when I can do greater at this point. <laughs> Can you do greater already? I can. <laughs> yep. Yeah, do that, man. Oh my god. Summon demons to fight the demons. Oh my god. It's devils, okay? Okay, summon fight. demons to fight the devils. It'll be funny. It'll be funny, haha. Huh? <laughs> uh, Shadow of Loyal is good. Charm Monster would be um, sad for me, but you could definitely do that. Say Wouldn't no you more. charm the succubus? Banishment's good. Dimension well, door. Good. Banishment's, Banishment's little, not great not when you're great when you're in their plane. It can't be less good it can't in this in campaign, but like it is still solid. Enemies, but that's well, okay. it's still good. Well, yeah. Well, here's the thing though. Banishment helps with the demon situation. Yeah. What this is demon. true. Yeah. A demon would be gone. A devil would come back. Your character would just have to know the difference between them. Not that hard. Cord if it looks ugly, would not it's... fucking know. Or it would. Yes. There's also Dimension Door, which is great. Dimension Door is really good. Yeah, I, I picked up that one. I, I picked up Sickening Radio. Teleport I away from your problems. I got Polymorph. Or teleport <laughs> to your problems. I loved Blue and, like, I went for... All right, how many spells can I get so that she can just run away? <laughs> <laughs> I would how like quick... not to be in this situation. I throw myself <laughs> out the window. Exactly. There's no window, I make one. You could get the Psychic Lance spell. It's just a verbal spell. It's not even like it. it you, you just got to talk and it, it, it does it. I get the uh, fourth level spell one. Mm -hmm. 
Baz Baz Treasury of Dragons. It's Fizz Ban. Fizz Ban. Oh, you yeah, turned it's... yourself into a unicorn for a second. Uh, okay, well, I mean, what else do you want? It's Fizz Ban in D&D lore is just Bahamut who's decided to make a really cool book about himself. I love that, and he's very valid for it. We'll see Donut Steel. He, he makes all sorts of references to himself, and he's like, man, that Bahamut guy is so cool and awesome throughout the book. I like that you don't have to see it if you know its name, and it's within the range. It's kind of fun. Yeah. You can hit things that are invisible. If you know they're there. Mm-hmm. Right. And you know its know name. Na yeah. Do we know how we're getting down? You all had a plan. Does the plan change with the level up? Oh, her. Oh, her. Did anybody learn fly? I don't think no one took fly. I, I specifically did not want to take fly because I felt like, you know, it just solves too much of our... Yeah, I took polymorph <laughs> because it's kind of like fly and could solve problems, but also could be used in different ways. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want an easy fix for the situation that we're in, you know. Mm -hmm. I also don't think flying down's a good idea, anyway. So you could have taken fly. It just wouldn't have nest because it ne won't necessarily help many future situations, and you'll just have it. Uh, yeah, that's why I took polymorph. <laughs> you could polymorph into something big and Yeesh. flies down. Yes, I can I polymorph was... two people into something big and flies down. I will say, though, that polymorph, just because you polymorph, does not mean you still remember what you were wanting to do. Exactly, which is why I probably wouldn't polymorph myself. <laughs> you polymorph yourself into a bird. The bird's going to be like, hey, guys, there's a worm over here. I'm going to go. Just going to. I mean, some birds have high intelligence, so. Yeah. You could turn yourself into, like, a giant eagle. Mm -hmm. It would have worked. Just not every animal will... I, I know. You know. I recognize. Don't want to turn yourself into a moth, because lamp. Maybe I want lamp. Uh, if you want lamp, turn yourself into a moth. That, moth, that's fine. What if I want lamp, but I don't want to be a moth? I'm I'm not here to stop uh, to stop you from lamp, okay? Polymorph does not erase memories or suppress them. You're it right. Decreases you your retain your personality, so you can still make plans and then execute them as a polymorph creature. And you? Anyway, the that's what Jeremy Crawford says. <laughs> if we oh. want, the original plan was. Uh... Most of us go inside the bag of holding bag. and then get carried down mm -hmm. by yeah. either glee flying or I forget who was the other person going down. Ari from be, Spider Economy? It would be my Yeah, I think I, Ari was uh, people. Oh, Ari, was spider, Ari was casting it on uh, mice, I think. Yeah, yeah right, Yes, because right, right. no one can carry the bag of holding when there's three people in there except for mice. Because mice plus uh, Karozi is too big. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. But that doesn't stop the people from seeing the people running and flying down, unless you can cast invisibility, right? But you have spider to, climb spider is be so hard to climb while invisible. Yeah, spider oh, climb. Oh, is spider climb is a spell. Yes. Spider climb is a spell. Yes. Oh, uh, is a is a is a concentration spell. Yeah. Okay. Yes. okay. 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 Good to know. Good to know. Hmm. I suppose I should actually pull up my notes. Do I have invisibility? I think I do. Or I was going to. Was oh, I do have it. I have invisibility. It's dramatic for you to have it, I'd say. Oh, there you go. I have it. Oh, uh, yeah. Then I could spider climb uh, mice and then cork and invisibility. Everybody, that needs to be mm -hmm. invisible. Solution. Mm -hmm. Solutions. Solutions. 
Illusion. This is a thing, my Bob. Where's my thing, my Bob? Doodle. This one. Hey, Eldritch Blast! I need you to do me a favor. I need you to use my charisma. Thank you. Did I forget hey, that Sacred to Flame. Sacred Flame, I need you to do the, me a thing. I need you to use my charisma. Alright, cool. Sorcerer. Luke Sorcerer. I One that. day I'm gonna get rid of Hex. Wait. Is it cool now? What do you mean? What are you talking Not about? cool yet. One more level and it'll, one more spell level and it'll be cool. Oh, he's talking to himself. Yeah, it, 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 it's a concentration spell for 24 hours. Instead of eight hours. It is a pretty big jump. Mm-hmm. All right. So... Let's see, how is the best way to do this? We should probably say goodbye to everyone. Oh, yeah. um, yeah, I oh guess we could do that. <laughs> it overall, but... Aha, because it's illusion, I can spend less fucking sorcerer points to dual cast it. Ha! Oh, that's cool. Because I'm in Crescent right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, I did want to ask, so, when we're planning this out, mm -hmm. Karozi would look at, um, Kor, and be like, are you still coming? We got the guy you were looking for. She looks a bit confused, and nods. She's gonna help us make the moon fe feel better. I'm just checking. Yeah. That was it. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just giving you some insight. wanted to make sure. Yeah, some clarification. Mm -hmm. Right, Core, you're gonna come with us, heal the moon, save the world, you know, whatever. <laughs> save the world. Hero stuff. Hero stuff. Hero stuff. Gills the moon. Um, I forgot to do something with my sheet. I have a question. Is it better for you to twin cast invisibility or upcast it? Twin cast it, right? I think it's twin casting because also with my meta magic, I'm using one less. Mm -hmm. uh, and definitely, yeah. yeah. So it's cast you one, right? Huh. Yeah, twins is usually a two. Yeah, twins is usually what two, so because it's a level two spell, so it would be only one. Okay. Yeah, that's so I would be using level so two efficient. spell. What the fuck? Plus one for a three point instead of a level three spell. Mhm. Mm I didn't even mean to do that. I just wanted to be in Crescent Moon today. I was just double checking. So proficiency bonus three. Do that All right. three times. I've used it once. I have six, and I don't have a second level spell. Okay. Invisibility. We're good. All right. So I will cast that once we're heading down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, before yeah. we leave, can I go find the leader of the area here? This little safety encampment? Sure. Uh, that's been Farah. I go over to Sarah, kind of tuck on her shirt to get her attention. This fucking song again! Oh my god, yeah, there it is. I heard the Boink. And I'm like, fuck no. <clears throat> it's a meme at this point. Yep. I'm gonna tuck on her shirt to get her attention. Uh, yeah, she turns to you and gives you a warm smile. Yes, my child? Can you 
look out for my aunt while I'm gone? Of course. Um, could you give me her description? Or if she were to hear, I, I'm sorry, I don't fully know who everyone is. Oh, right, there was new people that came, right? Yeah, plus a uh, hundred to begin with. So, like, I, <laughs> keeping I, track. The hundred people before she would have gone through and not seen her aunt. So she's mm -hmm. gonna, her eyes kind of go wide, realizing that, oh shit, she hasn't actually checked the new people yet. And she's gonna kind of run around to see if her aunt is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Leaves. <laughs> yeah, leaves. <laughs> She is not. Okay. Uh, she'll go back and give her a description of what her aunt looks like. The woman nods and says, I will keep my eye out for her. Is there anything you'd like me to tell her if I see her? Um, she kind of bites down on her lip, thinking for a moment. And then shakes her head. Alright. Um, have a safe journey. Uh, she'll smile and then turn and run back to uh, Glee and everyone else. Wave. So? You good? Yeah, she nods. Um, she, Cora does look different upon waking up. You, it's very subtle, but she doesn't really look as bright as she has before. She kind of looks normal now. Well, normal-er. She doesn't look. As if her light is waning. As if she was slightly glowing before and you didn't notice until she stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's in half moon. Yeah. Mm. Or crescent. Yes. Waning or waxing crescent. How to how to how to how to bring that up? You know what? I'm gonna do it the best way possible. I'm gonna not say anything at all. <laughs> I don't know. Weird glowy small person. I'm sure it's fun. Just gonna make sure that she's, um... I think at some point... Glee, like, upon seeing... Did we tell what core was the companion is? Uh, technically no, we didn't. Technically no, you have not. Like, you haven't yeah, told think... that Glee... That's that what I Glee's thought. ...father, because no. No, you have <laughs> I think we kept it too. It's the companion. Yeah. She's like, yeah, the moon. Not yeah. like understanding that it's supposed yeah. to be different. <laughs> yeah, it's it because it, Glee, Glee, Glee. Yeah, when Glee heard that she thought it was the moon, Glee was like, I, I want to correct you, <laughs> but at the same time, like probably. <laughs> There's no harm the reason in. I asked is because Karozi would definitely want to tell her before she throws her life into this. this if that true. makes sense. No, no, no. The, yeah, and Karozi would it. say that. Mm -hmm. I would think Karozi would say that directly to Glee when she goes off. Glee, okay. you, you need to tell her what the companion is before she throws her life in with us. <sighs> yeah, but it's like her whole thing and you know it's, it's awkward I mean I'll if do you, it it's just awkward if you don't I will and it'll be much more awkward yeah. oh that's an ultimatum if I've ever heard one <laughs> <laughs> literally do you want me do you want you the one that she's been clinging to this entire time or the one she's been running away from <laughs> I mean, karozi has been <laughs> so good at giving people, like, news in, like, a very, like, calm and compassionate way, you mm -hmm. know, and she's just, mm -hmm. all your guards are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just drop this bomb on you real quick. All right, I'm, I think we're good to go. 
<laughs> so yeah, when Cora comes back, Glee kind of just stands there for a second. Hey, Cor, um, you know the moon, right? Uh. Oh yeah, she'll so... like reach down into her shirt, pulls out like this chain where she now has attached the glowing little rock from the companion. And she'll oh, hold nice. it up, like, super proud, like a kid showing the parent, mm -hmm. like, the art they cool. made at school. Oh, cool! Oh, made a necklace out of it! Awesome! She's she pretty good at that. Really proud, and kind of holds mm -hmm. it in her hands. So, I know you've been calling it the moon. And... I understand that it is the moon, but it's also something else. So there's a being at the center of the moon. You following me? Is that a maybe? Um... <laughs> And there's, huh, that was a very different approach from what I was going to think you are going to be. Um, can I make an intelligence check to see if she understands what he, like, means or if she's, like, super confused? If you said something, you're not coming through. Yeah, that sounds okay. good. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know Sorry, how I'm she would... to eat. No, you're good. I figured. Um, intelligence. He's trying, to... He's trying to find the best words to say this without actually just coming out and saying no, it's she... not the moon. <laughs> she has no idea what you mean, and she looks okay. really confused. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna try try this from the from the other end. From the other end, okay. Uh, so my dad. Uh. He was an, uh, 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 he became an angel. You know what an angel is? She nods. She's read about them okay. in the books. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, when he be became an angel, he also helped make the moon. Her eyes kind of widen at that. And since he did that, he had to become the moon. I think at this point she is staring at you in like absolute flabbergast, but like also like Aw? Mm-hmm. Glee's like, yeah, I had the same kind of uh, kind of expression. Like, I didn't know either. And so, I'm trying to help him because the moon is sick, like you said. Karuzi's looking at you like you're full of shit. <laughs> what? It's that. true. I'm trying to help the, help him uh, help my dad and get Elturel out. She like sighs. She's like, "Are you intentionally <laughs> trying to lie to her?" Where's the lie of what I said? He's stuck in the moon. There's a big difference. It's... It's... I mean... <sighs> Fine. You want to do it that way? Fine. We'll do it that way. She's about to risk her life. Don't sugarcoat it. Cor, if she dies, she should know what's for. Cor, I'm. Tr I was trying to be 
elegant about it. But I see that it's making things worse. So I'm just going to be honest with you. Kor, that isn't the moon. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what exactly you understand what is and isn't the moon. But it does have a certain amount of power. That power stems from my dad, who is trapped in there. He became an angel, and they put him in whatever that thing is up there. Um, her expression has kind of changed from, like, awestruck wanderlust to kind of, like, understanding, a bit confused, and also a bit sad. Kind of looks down at the rock in her hands. That's um, a piece of him. This probably is not going to work, but I think she's going to try to see if she can have, through the piece in her hands, a connection with the moon to see if she can actually feel the angel trapped inside of it. She's going to concentrate okay. and try to feel for Glee's dad to see if he's actually trapped in there or not. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Uh, give me a just charisma check. Okay. Can you feel me now, Mr. Dad? I think you, you guys... feel the connection to the moon that you always have very strongly as you hold this piece. And it's hard to put a being to it. Because you don't know Glee's dad. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of weird information. Yeah. But there is a kindness and energy to it that feels sentient. Huh. Does it, like, react at all from me poking around? Not really. This is a small shard that has kind of fallen off a bigger being or thing. So... If we found something bigger, we could probably get a reaction. Probably. Yeah, you got like his nail clipping. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Dad In nail clipping! In elegant <laughs> way, and nail clipping being, you know, forced off of him by... Oh, an astral hey, booger. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. It's not an astral booger. It's a celestial booger. Okay. Mercy. All right. Um. So you'll see her close her eyes, and she starts to glow a bit brighter, and then it slowly mm -hmm. fades, and she'll open up her eyes again. Uh, something. What's your dad like? I don't really remember him too much. Mom always said he was a really nice guy. And she'll nod. There's something there. Nice. I don't know what yeah. an angel is like. Yeah, me neither. But, well, I mean, I was named for having a positive outlook on life, and, well, I mean. I suppose that's where I get it from. Mm, if he's trapped there, then I want to help. Yeah, Being of course. Being trapped isn't fun. No, it is not. No, it is not. But yeah, we wanted you to know because I didn't want to 
disillusion you about the moon and everything. I think it's kind of cool that you like have this thing that you were really passionate about. There is a moon to worship when we get back, though. Yeah, of course, but I mean, she thought it was that. And that's a way cooler moon than the actual moon. Just The moon just kind of sits out there. The being in the actual moon cries as people despair. <laughs> Dissing him. <laughs> Golden moon valor. And she'll look up at... Oh no, we're underground. She can't look at it. That's sad. Um, she'll look up towards the ceiling where it should be. Moonward. It's still my moon. Yeah, I like that. You should keep that. But I do want to apologize. I didn't want to exactly lie to you. Just, you know... Again, hope isn't something I like snuffing out. Well, not hope, wonder. Wonder isn't something I like snuffing out, and people like wonder. But Karozi's right. If you're gonna follow us, you gotta know what's happening. Um, she nods. Thank you. It's yeah, cool that oh. your dad's the moon. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I, I mean, like, I like that he's around and stuff, and I like that he's doing... He's providing a, a bit of sun for everybody, moon for everybody, light for everybody. That's the word. But, I mean, kind of prefer actually having my dad. Yeah, she there's like a look mm -hmm. of understanding and like sadness mm -hmm. on her face and she nods. Mm -hmm. And she'll just give you a hug. Oh, thanks. And she look turns <laughs> and looks at Karozi. When, when 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 she does hug, he's like I'm going to I'm going to just slowly accept this hug. No, we're not going to make it awkward. Wait, I'm just going to grab you and hug you. And she, he just <laughs> does like the biggest hug ever. Uh-huh. Oh, I needed one of these. No one's hugged me in so long. <laughs> How often do you need one? low head turn like are you crazy all the time she looks like <laughs> like what <laughs> when was the last time Karozi was hugged or hugged a person uh Sorry. in the campaign yeah i guess pre-campaign when was the last oh, time? Oh, fucking pre-campaign? I don't know. When did Mirth do it? If he ever did. Goals. <laughs> Mirth uh, he probably, hugging people. Probably on occasion. He was well, a very happy guy. <laughs> Is. Uh, when Glee puts Core down, she'll kind of mm -hmm. turn to Karozi. Um, She looks very unsure. But she takes a few steps towards you. She looks down at you with a raised eyebrow, like, what? Don't hug me. Uh-huh. She looks like she's kind of avoiding your gaze and looks super nervous about it. Uh, th thank you, too. You have literally no reason to thank me. Kind of deflates a bit. <laughs> Glee gives gives Karozi like the hardest glare ever from like behind core. Why did you just kill a puppy? Like what the fuck? <laughs> she she looks at Glee. She's like, what? I didn't do anything. I wasn't even the one that talked to her. 
part where you say it's not a big deal or, you know, I no did. problem. No, that's not what you said. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be... I have a better way to explain this. Don't bring out puppets. Oh. When a man I'm and a woman love each other puppets. very much, they talk <laughs> politely. While this is all going on, Ari's passing out the toys she collected from the town. She's missing this awkwardness altogether. <laughs> oh, I'm busting out the puppets. If you bring okay. out the puppets, Karezi's walking away. I, I'm looking <laughs> towards both of them, and I just look at mice. And in your head, mice, you just hear, Is this normal? Mice is exasperated. Um, and she she looks down at, at Corrin, sm smiles as gently as she can, says, Yes. Okay. And in her mind, back, I guess, if that's fine. Yeah. Gonna, and gonna, it's not your fault. She'll yeah, say that. she, she was like looked kind of panicked, and as he said, as soon as he said yes, it's normal. She kind of like relaxed a lot, and then when you said it's not your fault, she kind of looks up at you like taken aback, and smiles a bit weakly. As Glee is following Karozi away, don't you walk away from me, young lady. I'm in death or fighting. I'm was it my fault? Than you. No, honey. Are you saying you aren't young? Can't no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, Ari, the children love their toys, and a lot of the parents seem very grateful that you have given them literally anything other than... Thank God for the stretch. Cigarettes? <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> Our teenagers are not getting cigarettes. Our children are getting toys. Amazing. <laughs> hey, Karuzi's doing her best to not give them cigarettes. <laughs> True. Well, she's doing a terrible job. You gave job. them alcohol, didn't you? <laughs> you only gave them two. Oh, I've only gave them some drugs. You gave them two of an addictive drug. Listen. They keep I bugging her. I... Okay. <laughs> I only gave them some wine, okay? He's trying to scare them and rolling now once. <laughs> That's true. Alright. Anyway. Time for us to shove off. We say goodbye to our to our uh constituents. Sure. All right. Okay, I mean, they're my constituents because I'm taking care of them. Are you elected by them? Yes. <laughs> you can't uh, tell yes, me you can't sorry. tell me otherwise at this point. If they, if, they, if they were to ask us who's in charge here, they'd point at all of us. So I mean, no, they wouldn't. They would point to the lady that's actually in charge here because the they know better. If we asked her who was in charge? She would probably also say that because she is in charge. Okay, alright. I don't like your logic here. <laughs> I didn't use any and it's pissing me off. Alright. Are you going to depart from the chain near the secret tunnel? Are you going to go to a different one? How's Secret where, tunnel! Place? Secret tunnel. Uh -huh. So Julie we've got Invisible, Glee, and Mice. mice. Mm -hmm. And then Mice is also Spider Climbed. Mm-hmm. Which lasts and for an hour. Glee oh, is going to fly. Yeah, Invisible also lasts for an hour. Yeah, which How much is... air do we have in the... Uh... So I did a little math. You have essentially... 16 rounds of air. Now, do Reborns need to breathe? No. No. Redo your calculations right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's a lot easier. Just two people at that point. Just half it. <laughs> two and a half it's, minutes each of air. It's No, it's five. It's ten minutes of air. How is it? Per, per, yeah. per like, total, yeah, so five minutes. Yeah, for, and okay. car is small and uses less air. 
three hundred <laughs> rounds. <laughs> uh, no, not three hundred. Oh my god. Anyway, the and point because being, of uh, the. Uh... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you can run down the chain before air runs out. It's more if you run into any issues that there might be risk of. If it's okay. If mice if I opens break my the leg bag, jumping down. If mice fine. opens the bag, would more air go in? Would that work? Technically, yes. I think so. Here, now, clearly, the smell. issue is actually the... carbon dioxide poisoning. Problem is, is how re it, you know if you open it, it, people might see that it's open. That's wrong. We'll, we'll worry about it if it comes up. I I'm sure it will. So I'm sure it'll be fine. It was indeed not fine. All right, so mice, as you climb onto these chains, there is a deep sense of wrongness that kind of fills you. Like anything else on that? Can... Like. It's definitely magical, and it just itches the part of you that says, must kill fiends, they don't deserve to live, and says that in some ways this is almost unholy. And could gather that, yeah. Unbearable to interact with. Okay. What happens if I touch it? You aren't touching it, though. I'm gonna touch it. It feels icky. Does it see it feel like icky, like she felt it icky, or is it icky like? It just doesn't feel it. it, it where it itches and buries into mice, it kind of just tickles at you. Okay. In an unpleasant way. That's gross. I'm not touching that anymore. Well, I must choice. It's fine. All right, mice, you ready? Yep. All right, everybody, climb on in. I hate everybody. I do she make sure to stretch in. before this. Stretch. Okay. Important to stretch. She, Karuzi will go in first. It's like jamming down her head. <laughs> <laughs> the process of getting in the bag of holding is incredibly uncomfortable. Um, but once you're in there, there's a nothingness to it that That's may nice. or may not be pleasant. <laughs> No, I think for Karozi, that's pleasant. <laughs> Ooh, sensory deprivation chamber. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, Those are awesome, by the way. You, I have not it's been... It's not horrific to me, but... You um, actually can't see or feel the others. I can't do Dancing Light, because that is concentration. So no light. Uh, I will set tracks on Mice's shoulder invisibly, blip, 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 blip. invisibly. Great. Invis All right, the little Sorry, my my brain decided to just. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was on purpose. <laughs> no, no, my brain, my brain was like hip blip. Hip blip. That's so funny. Ah, yes, the rot has set in today. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm starting to climb down. Nothing else for it. Okay. As you, run. As you run, you run for a little bit, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. All right. A twenty-two. Nice. Yeah. Do you need to yeah. need to fix yeah, your I'm thing? I'm doing it right now. <clears throat> we. Uh, 
I will go ahead of mice and see if there's anything that needs to be, you know, said or known. And I will use tracks to act, act as walkie-talkie. Okay. Uh, mice, the unbearable this burns into you some, and you take, uh... Okay, Brain, you can do this math in your this head. This is my second character that gets hot feet. Oh my god, seven. yeah, that's true. Is seven. it seven? Seven, thank you. My, thank you, Brain, for speaking aloud through Chris. Um, seven necrotic damage. Now, I have 12 temporary hit points on my sheet. I don't know what that's for. Oh, yeah, no, that's gone. That was yesterday. Okay, good. good to know. Okay. But you are I able to keep running quite easily. Well, technically, I used meta magic, so I guess I could have done it again. Is that like a once a day thing? Hold on. That was something I should have remembered. Let's see. Let's check. It's a good. Um... It's a good time to learn it. No, it's DM? whenever I use it. Okay. Okay. Can DM, I... I have a question. Sorry, go for it. Oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah. You first. Uh, can I retroactively put the temporary HP on the mice? Is it 12 again or a roll? Uh, no, I have to roll. Pop, pop, 13. Pop, pop. Wow, right. so I got six left. Sick, nasty things. Uh, so I am fortified by the moon. Uh, you had a question as well? or statement? Oh, I just, it's more like... So, I have Devil's Sight now. Can I see inside the Bag of Holding? You can see, but it's still a Void of Nothingness, and you can't see the others. That is so weird. I hate you that. can see. There is, in fact, nothing. <laughs> yeah, Whether you can or cannot see, there is nothing. The, the, the coolest part about Bag of Holding is that everything that goes in has its own little pocket. So we're also separated. Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Great. So do they share air? Yes, they yes. do. Weird. Anyway. It's like a bag that has pockets in it. Everyone I think it was more the idea of a bag. Pocket. It's like a dice bag. I understand. It's like a dice bag. You're yeah. right. Like the ones that like hold a lot. It's like the big ones and they have like little side pockets, but it's still mm -hmm. like one bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh my there's God. just certain it, for each object. There's just a certain dimension that can fit in the bag. So like every everything that goes in, it only can fit into like a certain amount of space. So you could put some, one, like one big thing. You could put a lot of big things in, so long as they weren't all like 500 pounds total. And this anyway. is why in our our um other game that Alicia runs we debated putting loose soup in the bag. I was very <laughs> against it, just on principle. Um, in principle. Disgusting. Uh, Technically possible. And that has been Cursed Things from Alicia Saturday Game. That's right, pretty my... cursed. That's pretty terrible. I hate the term yeah. loose soup. Loose soup? As opposed uh, to tight soup. No, I don't like that. I, I, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Wait, no, Guys, that's worse. You are continuing to run, and I do need another con save. Sure thing. Thirteen. Mice, you start to slip. It hurts okay. a lot the... to run. Each... Oh, Jesus, okay. And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as you take 10 necrotic damage. Eight. You slip, but you do manage to catch yourself. When I fall sideways on. <laughs> okay. It's fine. 
How much further down? Gonna have to make three more checks. Cool. Ooh. I'll be fine. I'll catch you. She's invisible. She is invisible. I know exactly where she is. Because Trax on. Only if Trax stays on her. <laughs> well, Trax, hold on for your dear life. like Trax shit's raw. <laughs> <laughs> Trax Can Trax roll give her advantage at all? Not on saves. Think? Don't think. I'm, I'm just imagining Trax like trying to polish your shoes <laughs> as you're running through mud. Um, bark, 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 bark. Not on saves, no. But, uh... You can go ahead and make another constitution save, as you are able to get back up on top, essentially. Uh-oh. And oh, slipping it's again, it's like you're... It's like you're sliding into the chains. They're trying to take you with them as you take another 10 necrotic damage. Hey, how's, how you looking? I'm fine. All right. I, are you, I just are you rolled another tech save in case I dripped out. Yes, uh, you're you you fall and you get back up again because mice is persistent. Oh, thank goodness nobody can see this because this is. But I get up again. I get up again. <laughs> this is embarrassing. It's like, All right. It's like they grease the fucking chains. <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking scared right. you fall down the chain. <laughs> Have you taken more than ten damage? <laughs> yes. All right. Then after this, I will Trax will track Trax will whip out a band aid. Trax is giving you a play by play glee of how mice keeps falling over. Um, she's like swearing under her breath like the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you're literally being burned or just like, ugh, that would suck. S slowly so rotting. The, the DC was is fourteen. Good. So you only take six this time as you power through. Okay. One right. more and then you'll be to the ground. Jesus Why fuck. the fuck? <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess I haven't taken any damage. It's fine. Okay. And Trax just slaps you in the cheek with a band-aid and you feel she, fine she, again. She, sla she slaps and says, pull yourself together! I have a little slap fucking <laughs> yeah. imp just screaming in your face as you're getting, like, rotted from the inside. You can't oh, see it together. at all! <laughs> you can't see it. It's just Child, a fucking do voice. do you want me to dispose of the imp? Do not destroy the imp for its insolence. Um. <laughs> Alright. The shield does not destroy the imp for its insolence. Uh... And you do make it to the ground. Here is a question. Do okay. you run all the way down to the area in which devils are actively pulling on the chain? Or do you jump off before then? Wait, hold on. There's devils yeah. pulling on the chain. Yeah, yeah. there's devils yeah, going, yeah. They're, they're pulling the city down closer to the earth, which is why we had to come yeah. down here to stop okay. them. I wasn't sure if they were actively doing that right now. But if they are... Constantly. Um, they're... they're it's a shift work, but it seems to be a pretty consistent. consistent shift work unless they're actively being attacked by demons, which does happen sometimes based on what you have seen. But right now they are working the chain. Probably right. part of why it's harder to run down. <laughs> okay. But would you like That's... to go into the zone or would you like to jump off? Uh, I'll jump up. How high do you want to jump from? Any damage you can take, I can fix. I can fix it myself. If you can, <laughs> like, I'm uh, fine. Bitch, please, I don't need you. Yeah. I was fine look, the whole look, time. Look, look, look! It's Glee we're talking about. He doesn't care that you can heal yourself. Twenty feet, you said. Twenty feet, yeah. Okay. Um. The final thing I will need from you, other than to take, what, 2d6 fall damage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, not bad. Is a stealth check as you With are trying Ray. to not Did be a pile of plate armor. Because of invisibility? Uh, -uh. uh, invisibility plus, the, or minus the heavy armor would be just straight. Straight roll. Would be normal, yeah. Ha. 
So it. it's a seven. I tried. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I appreciate it. I do. I well, you do. jump and you land like a fully plated Bonk. paladin jumping from 20 feet sound. Ken, as he lands, or as she lands, the Doom music starts to play as Doom Guy enters hell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's Doom music on this Wish playlist. I was fucking cool. I, I just, I don't know Not where that it is. Cool. Trax just hear... says from, from next to you, rip and tear. Until it is done! What kind of demons are we dealing with and how many? Uh, well... That's a good question. I have, an, I have, I have a different question. Do we want to fight or do we want to leave? Well, let's see what we're facing first. Okay. I need someone to roll me a d4. Slash one d4. Oh. The one. There's one little demon. No, There's one not... abyssal chicken. I can't believe a oh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that's not quite what you were rolling. You were rolling for which shift was on duty. And now what? I need a moment to find... Because there's four shifts. Yeah. yeah. Four shifts. Every what? Seven hours? Six, Six. hours? Six. There are twenty-four hours a day. It's four. It's, it's, it's twenty. Yeah. It's not a day cycle, so it's however many hours the next shift. Uh, How do demons of... take time? I guess it would be thirty-six hours in a day because they do operate on the number nine because nine hells. So do they? Yeah. For time. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing. This seems like an extrapolation. I'm guessing there are they, they do operate on like a nine day week. I, I know that I, is a fact. I guess if they've ever mentioned how long the days are. Five E tools is like oh you can't actually sort things by fiend, but I'd like to. I you can. To. I know it's just it's just like poppy it's disappearing. Oh okay. Because I'm. In the top right, math. for in the filter section, you can type in whatever you need to. Yeah, I just managed to click on my thing that was races, not in enemies, and I was like, "Why are all the people disappearing?" <laughs> <laughs> because you can't play a fiend, so there are no fiends. What? I'm just dumb. First shift would be. Could someone also roll me 4d4? Someone else do it. Okay, or someone else can do it. Oh, I was about to do it. I wasn't saying, like, not me. Or I was saying, not me. I got it. Hopefully, I didn't screw this over. Three one one three. Oh, there seems to be eight spined devil and <gasps> devils, and then a bigger thing that you have never seen before. It could be that's worse. Kind of leading them. A big thing we've never bigger seen thing. before. It looks kind of like a toad wearing mm. pants. Mm. At least mm. he's wearing pants. Hmm. Now, how, see, so could... here's the question. How is he wearing pants? Is it like just on the back two feet or is it all four? Uh, are those he's standing are... on two legs. <laughs> 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 what type of pants are we talking about? I wanted the horse pants debate. <laughs> Sitar no. pants? Um... You're right. It is more of a loincloth. He, he looks like Toad from Frog and Toad. <laughs> This is a little chap. <laughs> it's Slippy. No. No. Slippy. Hey! Bless you. Slippy, it's dangerous. 
All right. What is my hmm. think of the described? It sounds like a tactical retreat is in order. Uh, sorry. All right. There does seem to be one of them or two of them coming to look for you, but you are invisible and able to kind of jingle jangle your way away. Yeah, well, if I get far, far enough, fast enough, they can't hear me. True. All right, you you are We're able not here to, to fight. Other purpose here. Yet. And in the looming distance, you do see what looks like to me. It could maybe be the pile of rocks you're looking for. All right. Well, um, hopefully it's been not too long. So I will release my passengers. I can't believe I've gotten a bunch of corpses. Great. Uh, you do have one corpse. It's Ari. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh no, she's not breathing. That's wrong. That you all know. That was nicer than I was expecting. Have you, you all okay? heard of the legend of the Bagman? No. And I don't want to. Okay. I have. Oh, fine. Uh, Core looks. Hi, you should tell Glee later. <laughs> I hope so... your journey was smooth. It was. It felt like we were floating in nothing. Oh, really? really? Can I get in? <laughs> Maybe later. Oh. Are you both okay? Yeah! Great! While y'all were going down, did you see anything that looked like a middle finger? In which direction uh, it was in? Uh, could I, could I have told, could I have seen which way? Yeah. You could know I, which direction I... it is in. Yay! Yes. Unfortunately, there is no sun, so you have no concept of where north would be. It's north. Yes, south. Just starts turning around. Uh. So I don't know how cardinal directions work down here. It's the hell out of me. Can we still see the <laughs> companion in the sky? Beats the hell out of you. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, the companion is above El Terrell. So, in relations to El Terrell, which way would you, we have gone? Down. <laughs> Sorry. No, we were told north <laughs> by the thing. Mm -hmm. We didn't see it when we were coming down, I don't think. Okay, hey, do I remember him, the rock, the, the, the rock pointing in a direction? Not yeah. that we can trust what he has to say. I trust Velocirock with my life. It's not Corozzi. Corozzi would it. It's <laughs> it's Rockrates, okay? You're Rock right. Tea. What did I say? Velocirock. Yeah. Velocirock. I just want to make more things like it. <laughs> We are on a legion of rocks. <laughs> All right, so uh, whip out the map. Try to see if we can find some kind of correlation, and just start walking in a direction. You know the correct direction to walk. Okay, cool. I start walking in that direction. Run that way. <laughs> For all of you but Core, you have 
due to the fact that you did travel at least the distance between Baldur's Gate and El Terrell, and vice versa on foot. A concept of what a day's travel feels like. And it doesn't take very long in Avernus to realize this is going to be harder travel than the equivalent on the material plane. It's hotter, it's drier, it's... Feels good. It's more exhausting on a personal deep level. Core, walking sucks. Yeah. You, you haven't walked a lot of places, but the general impression you've gotten so far is walking sucks. The furthest <laughs> she's walked so far is from Cathedral to the cemetery and back. After a while, Ari would offer Core like a piggyback ride or something. Yeah, she would take it. <laughs> she looks horrible. <laughs> and the fact that you're that you're like half as short as everybody. Uh huh. Me, she has to party. take twice as many steps as <laughs> everyone else. So, if or if Ari, you know, suggests that Karozi's gonna look at her. And be like, it does not make any sense for you to carry her. And she'll pick up Core herself. I think at this point, she's so tired that she's just happy that someone's carrying her. And Curse she just, just, like... Tuck you under her arm. She just, like, she's like a limp biscuit right now. She yeah. just, like, she just falls over. And she's just huffing and puffing. Glee looks like the proudest parent ever. What? It makes more sense. So with You're Ari right. being like... It... Go on. What? Go on. I was gonna say, you're right, it does make sense. It makes the most sense for you to be this nice. You're delusional. Hopefully! I'm carrying her so she doesn't slow us down. I know! That's so nice of you. She just sighs. <laughs> being nice to all of us at once. It's great. What? It, it, she could just be leaving Core behind. It could be worse. She's what not a jackass on? like that. Exactly! That's good! <laughs> You could be evil. <laughs> yeah, she's only left one person behind. Yeah, me. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I made myself sad. <laughs> Anyways. Glee will definitely be taking up the taking point walking in in the direction. I know Mice would probably be up yeah, next Yeah, she'd be too. walking. Yeah. Right. He's, he's like holding up the map and is like, you know, trying to find uh uh what's the what's the word I'm looking for? Where the places where things are important and therefore helps give direction. Landmarks? Yeah, there you go. Yes. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Mice will, will be looking for threats. Okay. Uh, both of you can give me a perception check. Why would there be threats in Avernus? I don't know, man. Question. I so think Lee's more interested in the shit that's happening. Like, ooh, it, that looks cool. Ooh. Can so I does the also heat roll burn... to look for threats? Is the heat worse or better for Arya since she's cold to the touch? Um, this is an uncomfortable heat, but a general okay. would you rather it be hot? Probably. Okay. You might not be as uncomfortable as some of the others. Except for Glee, because, you know. Glee is surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> Making ample use of a handkerchief. Can I roll perception for threats, too? Uh, alright, you may. 
Yeah. <laughs> Mice and Karozi. You hear the sounds of battle in the distance. On occasion, you see what seems to be enemies on the horizon, but nothing seems to pay you any mind right now. Glee, as you are trying to determine direction, you tell very solidly that you are walking away from the river sticks. That's good, right? Right? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if that's good or not. I hope that's good. I'm just going to pretend like it's good. I don't think you have any... Any idea if it's good or not. Yeah, no, I yeah, agree. <laughs> you know you shouldn't touch the river sticks. Yes. Um, But other than that, like, no given directions has said follow it or don't follow it mm -hmm. good you do enough not see for me any landmarks that are on the map good enough for me going towards the river sticks is bad oh yeah people don't drink anything here Speaking of drinking, I wanted to, uh, to to retroactive one thing. What can is... we get like a can we get like a barrel of water and put it in the bag? Yeah, that's kind of important. Yeah, I was just thinking like, well, what are we doing for water? <laughs> sure. <Would> you... <laughs> you have to drink. <laughs> Plebes. Well, yeah, but we didn't have to die. It'd be a, a real shame if you dried out like a piece of jerky, wouldn't it? Barrel. Damn. Barrel. Barrel of water. Yep. Do a barrel roll. We have 10 days of water for all of us. Yay. After a few hours on the horizon, the direction you are walking, you do start to see the rocks and fort that you have been described. There are very uh, pronounced knuckles in what would be the design of the hand, essentially made out of jutting up rocks, and there is a middle finger pointing up towards the air. Beside it is what appears to be a fort made out of scrap metal and used wood. All right, guys, I think I found it. Has it been a day or no? It's been a few hours. I would say in the purposes of the kind of day cycle that you would be used to, mm -hmm. It'd be early afternoon. Okay. Cool. Alright. Okay. Do we want to so take a quick break so that... And she kind of, like... <laughs> shuffles, uh... <laughs> coroner mm. grass, like... So some of us can uh, catch our breath. Yeah. And old Mice is trying not to look bothered by the fact that she is currently being steamed inside her armor. It's fine. <sighs> oh, and you have black armor, don't you? Not specifically. I think you do, because I believe the armor you have is what you took from the house. 
and oh, then yes, oh, absolutely. Yep, you have black armor. On. <laughs> you oh, had no. to be a G. Um, <laughs> you had to be a G, Mice. You are uh, my choice. Um, very toasty. <laughs> well, my tabard is a well lighter color, and that helps. But I guess fuck me. Um, Do you? want to take off your armor for a second. I can help you. She, like, looks at... <laughs> looks at Lee, like... What? Really... <laughs> Never mind. Um... <laughs> what? Really, really excited to take off my clothes. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Girl, he's looking at him, too! <laughs> what? She looks like she's dying. It... It takes it takes a minute to take off plate armor. No, I, I I should keep it on. It's dangerous here. I can't protect you all if I can't protect myself. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh, you need a break out of that thing. You look like you're about to pass out. And uh, everybody looks uh hot and bothered here. I'm fine. There's not great words for this, but. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I will keep watch uh, so that people can take a bit of a break. I'm pretty Fine. okay. Fine. I let him to help me take off my armor. If you're more comfortable, I could let Ari help you. I can let Ari help you. <laughs> Otherwise, he's gonna fight her. <laughs> Do I have a choice of not helping? <laughs> <laughs> I also like how he just sacrificed. Ari could do it. <laughs> I mean, okay. Do it myself. Rosie? It's fine. Er, okay. All right. I'll stand over here. Cruzy would help. She also is used to putting on armor. Thanks, Cruzy. Yeah. And she'll she'll be a lot less weird about it. Hundred <laughs> percent. What? What? How was I do? What did I do? That was weird. <laughs> and that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, she'll she'll find a nice spot that she can keep like a good look at like everywhere around them, which I mean should be relatively easy in the area. It is pretty flat and barren where you currently are. Yeah, so she she's pretty. Uh, she doesn't really have that heavy armor or anything like that, so I think she's pretty she's pretty good, so she's keeping an eye out. Okay. Uh go ahead and give me a perception check while everyone takes a short rest, I think. Is that what's happening? That seems reasonable. Yeah. I pull I pull out my You needed more of a break than I admitted. <laughs> I mean There's a, I you're don't... struggling to um not I don't want to say doze because it's too uncomfortable to comfortably doze, really, but, like, you need to rest. I mean, Ari would offer to take watch as well. She's okay. fine as... I mean, would I get my spell back? If I don't know I if any of you have ever had heat stroke before, but uh, Mice is currently actively radiating, which is an activity you, get, you do when you have heat stroke. Because I have. It's... Radiable. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Heat poisoning's not fun. Yeah. No. I'm gonna... I remember I'm... when one of my friends got had a heat stroke, or they started to get one, and they're like, man, my vision's getting, like, really blurry. And my dumbass, my first thing I said was, oh, are your glasses blurry? <laughs> <laughs> your glasses. Yeah, it's the glasses. Are they fault. dirty? Yeah, are your glasses dirty? <laughs> Uh, no, they fell over. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I bet the glass never lost, were dirty after that. <laughs> I never lost consciousness or fallen over. Um, but uh, It's not fun. Yeah, oh. I felt like I was going to die both three the three times I had it. I've had heat stroke, but I've had heat stroke before. You have to. In the, middle, in, in, in the middle of the night. It was great. Oh, God. I feel like Ari would notice that Crozy's kind of like dozing off every once in a while, so she'll walk over and offer to sit with her and keep watch as well. Uh, she just nod. Ari, you do not see any 
enemies per se, but you do notice that there are little faces that keep peeking out from above the fort's edge at you guys. Oh, Dutch Crowsey. Um, I think people know that we're on our way to the fort. Not sure that <laughs> matters, but they keep looking at us. I don't think there was any way we could have snuck up. Fair. I just... Perhaps maybe if people know just to be ready just in case if we need to fight or flee. I suppose we should talk about what our exact method of going in wants to be. Oh, yeah. 100%. We should also probably pick a side. As in, what know, do you mean? Devils or demons. We can't fight them both while we're on the battlefield. No, oh, we should choose the devils. I agree, 100%. The devils brought the city here. Oh, uh, we're away from this you, conversation. Mike. We're away like, from you. Get out of here, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you you guys I anyway. have to deal with everyone else cock blocking. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> dealing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were that far away. Hey, I'm, I don't know, how far are we away? I, Karozi was gonna be a bit away. I, I'd like to think my starts to talk, I'd like to think my starts to talk, and then Glee just covers it up with like, Hey, Mice, how are you feeling? Oh my god, you look so hot! You should lie back down and not talk anymore. You look like, so hot. Oh my god. <laughs> and then this core, who's oh, passed the oh. fuck out. Mice is like, okay, Glee has a thing for me now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm totally. Emotions. I'm totally into you. Yeah. What? Uh -huh. What the this guy fuck? Weird. Anyway. <laughs> Back to wow, the not weird mean. conversation. Uh. I think going with the devils would be the best bet. Yeah. Let's it's... say it with everyone else, but... Oh, I, I definitely agree with you. At least with the devils, if we make a deal, we'll know they'll uphold it. Yeah, but at what cost? Mm. I feel like kinda I sure. got into a deal with a devil against my will, but it cost me my life, I think. I don't really know. But Crazy shrugs and she just says I came down here understanding that there'd probably be a cost. I'm fine to take on whatever we need. Yeah, but your life's worth living and <laughs> Sure. I take it from somebody that's already lost their life, it's not as cracked up to be. You're still kind of living. Yeah. Maybe. But I'm all alone. I have no more family. But I guess nor do you. Guess we have that in common, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't do anything reckless. I'm not reckless. Okay. But I've thought it through. If someone needs to make a deal down here. It's going to be me. Uh, it should be me. Absolutely not. Why not? Because... Why, why is it okay for you to make a deal but not me? Because... I'm already in with the devils. Which means you shouldn't do more. But what, but what worse can it be? How worse can it be at this point? 
It's not up for debate. We'll see. Well, it won't. <laughs> she will lean closer and pat her on the head. Okay, go back to sleep. It's okay. I'll keep the watch for the rest of the hour. I wasn't sleeping. Okay. Joe, we got a badass over here. <laughs> Ow, my heart. No other family, huh? No other family, huh? She thought about you. She definitely did. But she understood kind of what Ari was talking about. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Your rest passes without incident. Mice Any is a slightly less lobster E. And y'all don't. The fun part is, you get hot, but you don't get sunburned, because there's no sun. Honestly, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Oh, hundred percent better. <laughs> uh... Is like if we were also getting sunburned? Uh, God fair. damn it, that's fair. <laughs> I'll take the heat over sunburn any day. Uh, Cora Although I do would be have the my first trusty cowboy hat. <laughs> you can get like no shit radiation poisoning from the sun, like. What? Yeah. It's radiation from this radiation from the sun? Who could have thought of such a thing? Like the uh, same kind of radiation. I like my radiation yeah. poisoning radiation. from a microwave. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I'd prefer yep. mine from a nuke, okay? <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> you can still be <laughs> radiated. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? <laughs> <laughs> He'll naturally radiate you. You just don't get the sun. <laughs> all right, you all are just probably... one thing. What the Glee throughout the entire time would probably be playing loot. Okay. Uh, well, I assume Ari and uh. Karozi go back over so they can talk about the the whole plan. So what plan? What do quote unquote plan? Well, yes. we're what about. are we doing when we approach the the fort? Knocking on the front door. Okay, well, they... that is a plan. <laughs> they know they're coming, so they we probably did. don't have to knock. But a better plan was we should be peaceful about it and not attack if they're devils or demons. Okay. Again, knock on the front door if we have to, but, you know, just walk up and say hi. Can what are we hoping to get... We are attacked. Of course. What are we hoping to get? Well, what information? We're supposed to go in there and see what Lulu, 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 you here? What? Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, if Lulu remembers anything. Okay. So all we really need is to just walk around. Yeah. I think we also should ask him about the Wandering Bazaar. Yeah! Good idea. Technically, we still need to vi fi figure out how to how we're gonna get a, a steady supply of food out here because I mean, um, we've got a couple of days, but let's assume we're gonna be here for even more than ten. Hell, chickens. Okay, that sounds both awful and delicious at the same time, and I can't tell you why. It sounds no, spicy. It's spicy. What it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I thought normal chicken. Well, was bad. it is a fort, so they might have food supplies if we have something we can trade or give them. Yeah, I don't know what they use to trade down here. Hold on, let me pull out my beginner's guide. Whoops out the, <laughs> whoops out the beginner's, beginner's guide. <laughs> what do they use as currency down here? Is it souls? Is it souls? I bet it's souls. This well, is also a reminder to the DM to send me a page about pit lo or pit demons, or pit devils rather. 
Refens. Pit boys. The pits. You're right. I did. I did get forgetful. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can't talk to me about other things. Then my brain is like, ah, conversation has continued. Forget oh. everything before. <laughs> Chris, you should have seen Alex yesterday when they were playing for the oh Sunday Funday God. thing. It was <laughs> he so he forgot his ADHD meds and it was wild. It was so funny. He's like, I'm gonna go do this thing, and I'm like, Hey, did you do the thing yet? He He's like, Oh off. no, I was chasing a bunny. And I'm like, okay, I'll go do the thing. And he's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, it's fine. It didn't help that there were literally bunnies to chase. <laughs> literally, they kept I, spawning. I needed lizard skin to get my stealth armor to be sneaky so I could catch more lizards. What did you guys play? Uh, the, forest. the forest. Oh, the forest. Yeah. Neat. A whale of a time. Good game, that. I was having fun. I would have to. Unfortunately, I'm not so good at survival. Oh, I'm not either. But, I like uh, making bases. Fun. Jamie's the one making the base, literally. <laughs> we provide materials when you put out what you're building. I take the lead in the caves. True. I hunt badly. <laughs> I give people drugs. In multiple games, apparently. Hey, you found the turtles! After we ran halfway across the continent trying to find fucking turtles, and just, you he was the, like, oh yeah, it's at the end of the river. There. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> Alright. So, are you all ready to approach the, um, the fort? I definitely am. I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. It's probably good that I'm not wearing the livery of, like, some of, one of them super crusade gods. Perhaps. As you all approach, you guys can see what looks like little red spikes sticking up from the top of the fort, and occasionally... A rather pale looking face will peek over. Hi! As you approach and yell hi, a face pops over the edge and says, What's the password? Let us through. That's not the password! And then you hear a collection of giggles. Hmm. Oh, this oh. is for Glee. <laughs> How would one find out the password? You see another face pop over the edge and says, We we don't have a password, but um, you can't come in unless you fill your pockets with sand. And it pokes back down and starts laughing. Ari will raise her hand. Like, I have my pockets drilled with various rocks. Does that count? Rocks are like big sand. Uh, a face peeks over the edge. She mm, said. Then you must stand on your head if you want to get in. All right, I got it. I'll do it. Oh my God. <laughs> she, he immediately goes to stand on his head. May I roll a performance? Yeah. Yeah! Do a silly jig if you want to come inside. Of course, of course! As he, as he, flip, he grabs the loot off his back, whips it into position, and begins dancing while strumming. As Glee There's does this, Ari leans closer <laughs> to uh, Crozzy, like, maybe we should just kill them. This is not worth it. <laughs> if I have to do it, yeah, but as long as it's Glee, I'm fine. That's fair. 
Now, 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 tell me a story. Ah! Only if you no. let us in. Or, or a joke. No, a joke. Only if you let us in. I've got the best joke for you. I want to hear it. You gotta let us in. You, you, yeah, you can come in after you tell the joke. Promise that you'll let us in after the joke. Y yes. All right. <clears throat> I don't promise there's another voice. Shut up. <laughs> All right. I'm not going. I'm not going to tell the joke unless you both promise. You hear like a collection of boos as there are a number of creatures up on this wall upset with the one that said no. Do you all have to agree? Uh, f fine. Hmm. What? Let's see. What's a beholder's favorite food? The souls of the innocent! No, that's stupid. I, I don't know! Ice cream! Boo! Look, eye candy. Oh, come on! That was the gold! Eye, the eye candy was funnier. <laughs> Why do paladins wear chain mail? Good defense. Because it's holy armor! Ooh. <laughs> but you get some giggles. Are you looking at terrible D&D &D dad jokes? Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. The immediate yes. <laughs> uh, alright, alright. Stop standing around like idiots and come in. I've got more! Okay, MD stand around like idiots and don't come in. <laughs> I pick up Lee and start walking in. <laughs> what is the cleric's favorite hot drink? Divinity! Can we kill him? No. <laughs> yes. He started it. <laughs> they started it. Now they have to deal with what they began with. Why is the necromancer not always a bad guy? Because they want to raise a family. Because they want to raise a family in peace. Pieces, pieces. Anyway, hi. Thank you for listening to your fort. Yes, as you enter, it it does look much more like a junkyard on the inside. There is trash and mechanical pieces everywhere. Some of them put together in ways that you might consider similar to a cart. Vehicular, perhaps. The cars, the cars, out there, the cars. Shut up. <laughs> As you look up to where the voices were coming from, you see a collection of what looks like feral garden gnomes. Arrow, That's just a normal no. garden gnome. Oh no. There are also plenty of these same creatures wandering about. And it sounds like someone is working on one of the vehicles. One of the little gnomes uh, will run up to Glee and is going to try to take your loot. No! No, this loot is important to me. You can't have it. It's mine. It starts crying. I, I, I don't care. It's just sobbing. You can have my sword. It takes the sword and it tries to stab one of the other little. As it guys. runs off, it just like 
de it just like disappears. Uh, the gnome that was about to get stabbed just starts laughing. What you do to my sword? <laughs> now, now the one that you gave the sword to is sobbing even more. Well, there goes my gift. I tried. I already hate it here. Oh, don't be such a such a spoiled sport. All right. Hi, everyone. Name's Glee. Hi, Glee. Hi, Glee. Don't give out all our names. Fine. You guys can give your names as you want. And we're here just to see if we can look around, maybe rummage through some of the, 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 the yard of the junk. Is that okay? Is there a fee? Maybe this is not junk to them. Just, just, just make you sure you realize that. It could be. It could be not. I don't know. That's what I was told that it was. Yeah, it, it, it's fine. It's fine as long as long as Maggie says it's fine. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine if Maggie says it's fine. Well, who's Maggie? The boss. Ooh, a boss named Maggie. Now this, this story I've got to hear. Can we go meet her, please? Someone get the boss. Someone go get the boss. You go get the boss. And they are now fighting over who has to go find the boss for you. But eventually one of the little gnomes loses and wanders off. Has to get the boss. Hey guys, what do you call a thousand year old Fay? A millennial. <sighs> Bad. I'm starting right, to wish this... I could have lost my hearing too. Ari rolls her eyes. A few minutes later, the gnome that, well, gnome-like creature that was sent to get the boss returns, leading a tall creature that's wearing a long, tattered shift, covered in just mud, blood, mold, and viscera. This woman has eyes that seem to move independently of each other, and they kind of scan the party until they hone on and meet straightforward looking at Ari. Hello. Hi. Hi. May I help you? Going to bow extravagantly. <laughs> My good woman, we were wondering if we may partake in your lovely establishment. I mean, it's not a bathhouse, but I suppose you could stay for a bit. Ah, what a wonderful host. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody else say thank you, please. Are there any rules we should know about? That wasn't a thank you, but that's a good question. Don't anger Mickey. And don't take my stuff. Is everything your stuff? It is my fort. So it would make sense that it is my stuff. There is any of your stuff that we would like to have. Might we negotiate a trade for your stuff? <laughs> I see. Yes, I suppose we could 
we could probably trade. Make a deal. May I ask why you're here? Any particular reason? Tourism. <laughs> no, I like this. Not. I like the screech from Glee and just Kurosawa going tourism. Uh, <laughs> and it was a screech because your mic cut out. <laughs> no one comes for tourism anymore. That's well, we're here. here. No one comes for tourism since the Blood War. Eh, we didn't get the memo. Then you must be ancient. <laughs> More ancient than I. Who's winning the Blood War? Oh, it depends on the day. Who do you want to win? My dear, I am in Avernus. Of course I'm on the side of the devils. Though I may not be one myself. You know. Here, here to the devils. <laughs> here, here to the devils, my strange child. <laughs> you are quite odd. I have no idea. Or perhaps you do. Hmm. Uh, I'm not ancient. I don't know about you guys. I could have more of an idea if you let me, child. Don't like that. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, but what was that? Uh, she could have more of an idea if you let her. <laughs> oh, I also don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> um... <clears throat> In what way do you mean? I mean, I like to explore people's past. I like to know what they know, where they've been, what they've done. <laughs> Could you tell people about their past? I can show people their past. Oh yeah? Yes. And you show me my past? No, you seem boring. <laughs> Get oh, fucking oh. wrecked! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Destroyed Ooh. in seconds! Oh, it sounds like you just don't want to prove that you could do it. Um... Sure, if it, am I more your speed? Am I not boring as you say? You seem much more interesting. How do you know this? The pallor of your skin. That's fair. Cora kind of looks down at her own complexion that is very similar to Dora Hari's and kind of hides behind Glee. You too, child. You seem quite fascinating. You are the size of one of my mud My lobster skin. Yes, it's boring. <laughs> Burns. In hell. How cliche. You said this is something you like to do. Look at people's past. Yes. Is there a cost for it? Mm, depends. If you have a past that I want to look at, we'll just look together. And if you have a past that I don't care about, I might cost some from my time. I mean, I'm not a charity. I'm a warlord. 
I'll take that offer. So what does it mean to be a warlord? I'm running all about hell. I just have my little land and I keep the other people off it and it makes me a warlord because I have a legion of little fays that run about. Oh! We should totally become a war warlord people, guys. No. Ugh. Fine. If you want to be a warlord, I will have to ask you to leave. I can't host... We, we can't well, yeah, just host... Clause. Competition. Yes, exactly. You don't... You don't... It just doesn't work. That's fair. Do... Do these... These vehicles run? The echoes Things? That they tinker on? Do they work? Yes. I mean, most of them. Some of them don't, but... That's kind of why they're fixing them, isn't it? If my past is so interesting, would you let us have one? Like, it's so mind-blowing that you just don't know what to do yourself. I don't know if just your past would get a vehicle. But I do have some other tasks that need to be handled. We could potentially work some things out. As she says that, Ari pulls out a, a red crystal vial with a gold stopper. How about a bottle that has the wind of the material plane? It holds secrets of the material plane. That certainly has to be worth something. Her eyes glint. The wind of the material plane. Yes. That. That would be quite interesting. Yeah. Okay, just making sure as she puts it back in her pocket. Hmm. I would love to know about my past if you can actually show me it. Yes, I can show you your past. I can start to get set up for such a thing. For a war machine, though, you're going to have to do something more. Are you looking to buy a vehicle? Well, how much? Why don't we do the memory thing and then we can work out a deal after. But I think we would be interested in a vehicle. For me to set up, I will need some time. What is your name, so I may prepare correctly? Ari. Ari. The one who carries the wind. Excellent. Alright. I'm off. I will go set up. Have a nice day. You too. And she turns to walk back towards one of the buildings. And you find yourself in a junkyard with war machines. One of them still being actively worked on, it sounds like. And a bunch of what she described as madcaps. What would you like to do? I want to go examine the uh, war machines and vehicles. Okay. Is there anything anyone else would like to do? Yeah, I would like to go ask some people where we can find the Wandering Bazaar. I'm sticking to okay. Glee. Is there yeah, a shop? I, I think... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, I think Rosie would say we should... 
We should make sure someone stays with someone else. I don't want any of us splitting up on our own here. Oh. I'm, I'm going with Glee. Yeah, good idea. She's not... She is kind of terrified here. There's a bunch of little people that are kind of shorter than her running around that are giggling their heads off. <laughs> people aren't supposed to be shorter than me! And a very big woman <laughs> creepily wanting to know people's past. I'll, it's uh, not creepy. It's just different, okay? Mm -hmm. It's pretty creepy. I can keep them safe if you want to go and check out the... Mind me, I should share with you all some images. This is the little guys that are wandering about. Yeah. That's actually kind of cute. I don't like those. <laughs> they're cute, I but she would cute. not like yeah. them. No, that's fair. That's terrifying. They kind of have like a fish looking head. Oh my god. Mad caps. I like their, their big toe. <laughs> Fucking kingdom heart, motherfuckers. And then there's some of these little guys. Red caps. Ah, uh, those are ugly. <laughs> but they're more know me. Yeah, I like the madcaps more. Do you have and a picture of the woman? Yeah. I do. And you have not met him yet, but the other creature in the picture is Mickey, who is wandering about somewhere in the town. If I can remember her name. Mad Maggie. Yeah, Mad Maggie. Mickey. Great name. So one of the rules was not to anger Michael. Mickey, right? Mickey, fuck. Yep. Yeah, Mickey. I mean, don't Different I? Different game. Different game. <laughs> Yellow door pops out. <laughs> Heard you talking uh, shit. I love, I love and hate all of what I'm seeing right now. What the fuck? Wait, hold up. Which one's Maggie? The one with the tongue Which thing? One? Which one? Is the, the woman is Maggie. The creature is Mickey. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I I just made the picture bigger. I I, I obviously some one of them is a woman. Mm -hmm. The other one is not. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, what? No. Guys, no. stop! Stop! <laughs> You're basically twins. <laughs> basically and, twins. And just as a reminder, the woman was tall. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Great. fucking Christ. <laughs> she How was tall taller was she? than Carozzi. Oh, boy. So I was right. Maggie's the one with the tongue. No, she isn't. The one looks taller. It yes. just means oh, that it's oh really fucking it's also tall. really oh, big. Craig? I see what you mean. <laughs> he doesn't want to accept the size. How, how many glasses of whiskey have you had? None. Okay. I just that, hate that. That only makes it worse. <laughs> that only makes it worse, honestly. You should have lied, man. Five. I'll go with five then. <laughs> oh, well, that makes sense. Oh, no. Why are you drinking during the Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you imagine playing with someone drinking during d, &D? And only wanting to get smashed and fucking talk about leather flaps and shit? Leather flaps. Bad anyway. flaps. Anyway. I'm sure Maggie has a tongue. So what I'm saying isn't actually wrong. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, I hated... You know what? Hated, sure, bud. I hated... You're making it worse. <laughs> you're, you're only making it worse. <laughs> what did Ari want to do? D uh, Ari wanted to see if there was a shop or something. I don't think so, because she said everything's hers. I mean, true. This doesn't seem like a town as much as uh, a military base. base in the most loose sense of the words as the uh, military people are these creatures. Caprica. 
You want to uh, go check out the machines with me? Yeah, that sounds fun. Mice, what do you want to do? I'll keep Glee and Car safe. Yep, she'll nod to that. While we're looking at these war machines, can I see if I see any gym ish looking things? Yeah, Kurzi was going to say, like, you might want to have uh, Lulu so she can try to see if she rem remembers anything as we walk around. Oh, yeah, that too. All right, so you're popping out Lulu? Lulu's popped out. All right. She is kind of wandering around the area of madcap kind of takes a swing at her and she just floats a little bit higher i will i will swat at the the madcap that's that swung at uh, lulu it bites you it doesn't really hurt but it's a little feral creature that's like and then it runs away i'll growl at the the madcap too if it growls at me first yep uh <sighs> you have a little hissy fit with the madcap. You're terrifying. Why, thank you. I was trying my best. Can mm -hmm. you tell? Yep. Rawr. <laughs> she chuckles. Wait, did I just get a, a genuine laugh from Crozy? You got a chuckle oh! from Crozy. <laughs> The game can end! The campaign is over! <laughs> Hurry! Right, the just over. The, game. We have ended the game! We have, we have achieved our greatest, uh, the greatest achievement one could ever ask for. I bet Glee's never made you laugh. She thinks about it. He fell on his face once. Pretty oh, high that, up. That's pretty funny, actually. Mm. So Lulu, does any of this spark any memories? It it I remember these machines or ones like it. You haven't seen the the Kinku yet, have you? Would Ari know what a kinku looks like? Has she ever seen a kinku? You've heard them described as bird people, so then you no. can guess that they're not the red caps. Then no, have not seen the kinku. Zuh. As you two approach the um vehicles you hear in mad maggie's voice even though she walked in completely the other direction hi bishaba whatever did an innocent woman like me do to deserve this and then in a deeper voice it continues it's the road gear can't be repaired ain't nothing but to do but catch a new one and then you hear just like different voices chattering back and forth having a single conversation in these chunks of speech and i'm assuming this is all in common yes uh i'm just gonna go check out whatever it seemed they were talking about You approach what looks to be a bulky armored coach. Mm -hmm. And as you get closer, there are two creatures clearly working on it, but they're talking in the voices of others. And they do look kind of like birds. Hmm. I point to them and I'm like, is that what you're talking about? 
uh, Boo, Lulu. Oh, um, and she kind of zooms in closer. Uh, yes, those look similar. They look a little different, though. And the bird creatures kind of pop their head up. And one of them says, by gods, it's fucking flying. <laughs> I mean, says, it happens to the best of us. It's all right. The other kind of shakes its head. Clonk. Clonk and clonk. Clonk one, clonk two. Was told about this. Was told about this. Flying. My God, that's fucking flying. My <laughs> uh, God, thank you. <laughs> Do they have wings? Yep. Can't you fly? No. Oh, my deepest consult. Condolences, I wish I could fly too. I understand. <laughs> it's just like in a symp sympathetic tone. By God, that's fucking flying! <laughs> Chris God, is gonna go look flying. at whatever they're working on. <laughs> She's ignoring this conversation. <laughs> the one Ari that might is be not intelligent, God's but she's really dumb. Uh, is still kind of poking at a piece in the machine. Uh, can I, like, roll just to take a look at it, see if there's anything I can do? It seems to her like a good chance to see how advanced, like, their technology is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and roll me a tinker tool. Can I? Ari, can you help? <laughs> sure. Now she's having a conversation. You said you walked away from her. No, they're still there. They're right in front of it. I will look at the machine, too. Do you have proficiency with Tinkerer's tools? <laughs> <laughs> do I have proficiency with any tools is the question I do not I don't think she can help you with a tinker tools check because it's a tool check that's fine Um, you kind of look and there is clearly a piece that is broken and the one that is not chattering at Ari points to it and says again is the Hezro gear can't be repaired. Ain't nothing else to do but catch a new one. Uh, can I see if there's any way to fix it or no? Uh, you can tell that it's broken. It looks like it's a piece, like a spike that has been broken off a creature. And mm. you think he may be correct in that the only way to replace it would be to catch and retrieve a new one. Yeah, she'll nod. Mind giving me a hand? I'll owe you. She nods. Hmm. He points to one of the other vehicles. Yeah. She'll go check it out. She is intrigued by their design. Uh, this one is bigger. It looks much more akin to a small bus. And attached to it is a claw arm. And the creature will go hop in the... What looks to be the helm, the driver's seat, essentially. And... Mm -hmm. Kind of, like, get gets the engine running... He pours a vial of this black liquor liquid into it and it makes a bit of a hiss and there's a black puff of smoke, but the 
vehicle is running. Okay. Can I, like, look over it, check it out? Yeah. Uh, this looks like it's a machine gav that is meant for gathering. Um... And could potentially grab the kind of creature that they've been describing based on the size of the spike you saw. Okay. So wait, is he asking me to go out with him right now and catch it? Yeah. That's what he seems to be preparing for. Huh. I looked at Ari... I think he wants us to go out right now and catch one. Sneak up on them, fiends. Get their attention. Separate them. Stunt them. Lure them. Fool them. Don't matter. What are we... At? What are we trying to get, exactly? Ezru. Get their spikes. Put it in the machine. Is it dangerous? The other one kind of pops up. And in Mad Maggie's voice says, Big, very big. Comes in pairs. Oh. I mean... If you think we can help out, sure. The it kind of nods enthusiastically. The first one says in the kind of gruffer voice, "Don't kill. If it dies, it turned to agar." Hmm. Yeah, she'll nod and uh, lean over to Ari and say, it'd be a good chance to check out how these machines run. Oh, that is a good idea. Yes. Okay. Grizzly will crawl in. Okay. Uh, before we do that, you want to hop over to the other group? Yes, I was going to say. All right, other group. What are you doing? Uh, we, I went to go ask some individuals about the Wandering Bazaar. So, um, you know, I'll just go up to one of the Red Caps and say, uh, so anybody know where the, about the Wandering Bazaar? Is that what it's called? <laughs> we're not allowed to leave <laughs> unless Mad Maggie says of course I mean then we can leave and we go places but we don't wander we, we always go where we're told but we never wander that would be bad that would be naughty we, we, we're not naughty of course not um, <laughs> and then he like tries to stab you but in a playful way of course of course <laughs> a playful way yeah, yeah I almost yeah, yeah, kill yeah. him <laughs> Oh <laughs> no! He, he, like he, he shuffles back really quick. Ha <laughs> ha! You almost got me that time. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? Um, uh, like not calling it, her Halbert. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. It, it's a game we play where we we stab, stab each other. Um, <laughs> uh, nope, but never been. Never never wandered to a wandering czar. All right, good to know. So how knowledgeable is Ma is Ms. Maggie? Pretty knowledgeable, you'd say? Very smart, very smart. She's just, she's so she's smart, smartest woman I know. Best hag of the bunch. Well then, guess we need to talk to Mad Maggie. That's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to ask somebody out here, but guess we'll have to wait. Uh, do you, you guys find the skull? Find the skull? 
Yes, the skull. <laughs> What's the skull? I don't know, he's a, he's a skull. What? Skull of what? A person! Don't be dumb. How would we know when we found it? Well, he's on fire. Oh! Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll try to find the skull. Seems reasonable. It just kind of nods like, yes, of course. All right, so let's see how to find a skull. Give how would me a perception check? A perception check. Anybody good? Anybody here good at uh, looking for stuff? I am very good at looking for stuff. All right, let's look together. Oh, I was gonna A say perception? with advantage. Yeah. Nice. That many mice. You see, um. Not necessarily a skull, but you do overhear one of the red caps say to another, "We're gonna do it again. Uh, he's he's over by the edge. We're gonna throw. I, I got the tomatoes. We're gonna throw them at him." And they're kind of like pointing in a direction. Knock him out of the sky. Maybe he'll lose another tooth. I don't think she cares. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, Weiss cares about their shenanigans. Uh, it doesn't seem to concern them, so. Sorry. Okay. No skull? No skull. Don't see anything. Uh, you can wander around a bit, and yep. eventually you will find a flaming skull that is having tomatoes thrown at it by a bunch of madcaps, and it is, like, dodging and swearing at them. Oh. All right. Going to go... Uh, going to go try to stop the, the, the tomato throw. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, guys. Relax. That's not true. A tomato whizzes by your face. I activate the shield. <laughs> There are about um, six, a collection of six mad and red caps that are currently playing this game. Awesome. Would you get those little buggers to stop it? I'm trying, I'm trying, hold on. And I will, let's see. See, what you gotta catch the, the you gotta catch the tomato and eat it. That's how you prove dominance. I will try to ch catch the tomato with my teeth. <laughs> All right, you um, I I don't uh, dexterity, please. All right. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's the worst tomato you've ever tasted, but by God, you caught it! Hell yeah! <laughs> And really, that's all that matters. They stop throwing tomatoes and kind of just stare at you in awe. Oh, we so are not worthy! And they run away. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I thought I would have to threaten them. Good job. I would love to hear Kor's 
POV of this? <laughs> um, she's really freaked out by the madcaps. So she's mm -hmm. constantly just hiding behind Glee. Mm -hmm. So when he jumps up, she's just left defenseless and is just like, what the fuck? Yeah, you might want to hide behind mice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Core. Left alone. All by herself. For like the two seconds he's in the air. alone. I'm here. <laughs> I just imagine that every time Core gets left behind, there's like a slow-mo black and white shot and like a sad song. <laughs> yeah. In the arms of the angels yeah. play. In the arms <laughs> of an angel. <laughs> and she just like, like on the verge of fucking crying. Or just it's, hello it's her. from the other side. <laughs> It's just her face panning, panning in and out constantly. Yes. <laughs> just the slow mo shot. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's for a second. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. With the madcaps dashing away, uh, a the flaming skull kind of lowers a bit and says, "Thank you, good chap. Thank you very much for." sending them away and he speaks with a kind of whistle as he is missing one of his two front teeth amazing as a lift yeah got a, a little, little bit skull of a lisp a little bit of lisp a little bit of a whistle just a little a lisp lich <sighs> He's not a lich. He's a flaming skull. Yeah, big difference. You, I haven't seen you all around before. What? Hello, I I am Barnabas, and I am so Do you tired. Mean Warwick? Of no, he's Barnabas. Fuck you. Warwick would respond completely different to those creatures, and you know it. <laughs> You fireball them because he's different. Whatever. Built different when you're just a skull, you know. All right. Can we... welcome to the the team, I guess. I'm well, not sure what's happening here. I'm going to go continue my evening stroll. I was going to go get some tea. Uh, have a good one. And he's gonna fly away. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I had a question for you. Do you know anything about uh, the Wandering Bazaar? Oh yes, I I have heard of there. I didn't I didn't get a chance to go before I died, but um, you know. I hear it's a bit of a neutral grounds. Good place to do business if you need to do some shopping or you know rest for a bit. How would we find it? Ah, uh, how do you typically find anything here? I don't know, actually. Not from. Excellent, here, you're on the right so. page then. <laughs> um, Maybe you could enlighten us. Well, as you you know, or I'm assuming you know because you're here, things don't work here anymore. The it used to be a lovely land. And now the River Styx has corrupted everything, and it just doesn't... The locations are where they are. Um, the Wandering Bazaar is a little bit more complicated, because not only is it where it is, it's also moving where it is at the same time. So then, how does one combat this? 
Oh, you go insane. Oh. That's Is not good. There another <laughs> option. <laughs> not that have been found by God or man so far. <laughs> but what if they wanted to find it once? I understand that the Wandering Bazaar does not find itself in your path. It finds you. If you need to go there, I'm sure it'll it'll be where it needs to be. Interesting. Is that how it works? Yes, the, the owner, he likes to make a sale. He likes to do business, so he puts himself where he needs to be to do the business he needs to do. So, what do we... We just gotta want it real bad? That might work. Um, you could potentially attempt to signal him in some way, though I'm not entirely sure if you know who he is, so I don't know if you could signal him, but you could try. Um, you could want it real bad. Mm. You could shout to the heavens that you wish to buy a nice crumpet. Um, You could wander and see what happens. I mean, that's what it's called, right? The wandering. Could you describe him? Well, I've never met him. Oh, right. You've never been to the place. Right, 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 right. No, I didn't get a chance before they uh, <laughs> kind of popped the head off. Um, and since then, I haven't felt the need to travel much. Uh <laughs> Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's bring him with us. <laughs> no, Mio and Juliet. Why did you share this knowledge? Uh, <laughs> excuse you, what about the sequel, Sherlock Gnome? Wait, what? <laughs> yes? There's a sequel? Yes? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Gnomes. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy you shit. Head off. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Before you head off, though, um, I don't know how to put this. Um, they took one of my teeth, and it really bugs me. I already don't have a tongue. I already can't speak how I would like to. And they took my tooth. Is there any chance you could get it back? I mean, and I can't really catch them. I mean, I, I try and I bite them and then, but then they might take another tooth. I mean, I don't see why we couldn't help you with it. You know which one grabbed your, has your tooth right now? Um, I think, I think they, they like to pass it about, but I, I, I know that it was taken by one named Grimmick. 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 Find Grimmick. Find it. Uh, find where it's where the chain of tooth started. Got it. Thank you so much. I would very much appreciate it. I. I can see if I have any in, any more information in my books about the wandering emporium for you. Thanks. I'll look at the other two. We've got a tooth to find. <sighs> All right. Anybody got any spells for tooth finding? She shakes her head. Well, then I guess we do this the whole old fashioned way. We search for clues. You slept, I could, but not quickly. All right, let's go interrogate some gnomes. Are they gnomes? Hey, They're... Mr. Flaming Skull, what are these? What are they? I believe Mad Maggie has summoned them from the uh, Fey Wild. They're called madcaps and redcaps they're little annoying imp fey creatures oh 
I don't need to tell us they were annoying. I, yes, I mean, they, they stole my tooth. How much more annoying can you be? I mean, they could also be screaming at the top of their lungs constantly. Oh, they they do that at midnight. Oh, 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 wow. I hate it here. <laughs> the trouble is they kind of just decide when midnight is. Oh, 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 I continue to hate it even more. Wow, I didn't think that this could get worse, but it did. Well, All right, well, we'll see about your tooth. Thank you so much. All right, it is about 11.20, and you both have, or the two groups have collected their side missions. Yeah, so I call side it... missions. <laughs> Call it a night here, and we'll start yeah. up with some exploration next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But right. welcome to Fort Knucklebone. Knucklebone. I hope you enjoy your stay. No. <laughs> it's no, probably no, right. not. Dubious. Probably not. I can't Gets believe... Us low. I can't believe you all have such a negative outlook on this location. Hmm. Actually, funny enough, Karozi's pretty okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, Karozi's okay with okay. it, too. Okay, alright, but wait until you hear what the, 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 the caps do. I mean, I with think Ari our... would just join them. The screaming? Maybe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, ah! She just... <laughs> <laughs> She she would just go back into the uh into the back of the <laughs> If they're not done by the time I'll die, I guess I'll die. <laughs> yeah. I would actually sell my soul if it meant I never have to sit hear this ever again. Bang. Okay, not literally, but figuratively speaking. You have, like, seven people lined up to buy your soul. <laughs> yeah. Ari's not looking forward to this whole, like, past thing. She's like, this is gonna suck. Hmm. Nah. Let's fun. just rip open past traumas. It's okay. Hey, what could go you're wrong? the one who signed up for it, man. You Yo. actively volunteered to yep. do this to yourself. You know, this could help us get a get a war machine, so it's for the greater good. Unless she finds something in your background that she doesn't like. It's fine. This might be Ari's villain origin. It's cool. You know, whatever. Just hope that she doesn't change anything while she's in there. Smile. True. <laughs> okay, title. It should be fun. Mm. Yeah. We got obligatory abyssal chicken. <laughs> Dad's nails clippings. Eat loose that. soup. I have to deal with everyone else cock blocking. I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> and by that. gods, it's fucking flying. <laughs> I like the cock block. <laughs> Same. I think the obligatory abyssal chicken should wait until we actually have an abyssal the chicken. One, maybe, yeah, okay. maybe. The actual obligatory abyssal yes. chicken. Celestial nail clipper. Nail clippings. That's my vote. Noah? Um, I think that leaves us at uh, the cock blocking one. It's so long. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> it's bad for our optics, but you know what? It'll be fine. Who's watching this anyways? Us? <laughs> I only watch the ones with funny titles. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about lore? Alright. 